What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video of Let's Talk Boxing. My name is Leti. And I'm LB. And let's get into the press conference and weigh-in of Tank and Rolly. Yeah, How yeah. exciting. That was an exciting nice little press conference. Yeah, it was exciting. It was exciting. And uh, it was cool to see, uh, we kind of talked about it, it was cool to see uh, Tank, you know, kind of, he's, he's been more like himself, you know. He, in his uh, previous press conference, he said that, uh, you know, I'm actually a more of a playful guy, you know, if you guys get to know me, you know, with my friends and stuff. And you can kind of see that, you know, from the beginning when um, Brian Custer was talking, they were like playing around with each other and stuff. So it was it was good. It was good. Yeah, it was mean? funny. I said the best way to uh, describe, I feel like the relationship that we saw is like a, a brother relationship because they were like, I couldn't even take it serious that they were talking shit to each other because it was just like you know let's get this money and we gotta you know put this act up that you know we don't like each other yeah yeah but i don't know there's i i feel like there is some there is somewhat to bad blood though or if it's you know it might just be just some competitiveness mm -hmm. but um but yeah i'm i'm more excited for the fight um than originally yeah um, me too. yeah you for know sure. because but you know credit to roly man credit to roly he's set man He's much, he's must see just because of his personality. Yep, yep. I gotta say, yeah. his personality did make me want to watch the fight even yeah. more. It's like, okay, I'm ready for the fight to be here already, you know? Yeah. Uh, just the, the shit talk that he actually Hell came yeah. back. And, yeah. you know, I feel like it was more than the press conference before. Uh -huh. Um. So he was actually talking his shit. That shit was hella funny. And Tank, his little face expressions, like when Rolly would say some shit, yeah. that was hilarious. Um, did you have a favorite part though? Because I had a favorite part. Um, um, one, my favorite, part. my favorite part was probably when he was like, they're like, oh, what do you think about uh, him being an awkward fighter? He goes, I don't think he's an awkward fighter. I think he's a dumb fighter. Yep, <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, funny. and then he, and then he made it even funnier because he was like, you know, I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but that just made it even, you know, that makes it even more funny. You know? <laughs> he said, I bet you now, I bet you all the fighters that started like, you know, going into, you know, rings and practicing, they're like, oh hell no, nah, he's talking about me, you know. Yeah. But it's true, you know, like when you feel like. You got your little swag or whatever it is that you're doing. You feel like he's a shit now. Like, you know, you're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, nah, you just dumbass fighter. That was funny. Yeah, and really, uh, if you compare the conference, press conferences, he actually looked more comfortable this time. Very, yeah. And so that was good. And uh, he was coming back quick. He was, and he was like, yep. and the, oh, another funny part that I like, he was like, he goes, yeah, you. it's on camera that you said. That was my favorite yeah, part. Well, ahead, that was my favorite part. I told him, I was like, you got to watch the press conference. There's one yeah. part that that was just my favorite ass part is when uh, they asked, they, you know, he, cause he, they were talking about like, you know, Roly uh, Tank had said, you know, just make sure you don't use your elbows in yeah. the fight, you know? Uh -huh. And then uh, Roly was like, okay, just don't hit low blows like you were doing with Leo Santa Cruz, you know? With little Leo Santa uh -huh. Cruz is what he was yeah, saying, he to my Leo. correction. Yeah. Um, and he was like, you know, and then with Pitbull Cruz, he was like, he was dominating you, he was whooping your ass. Yeah. And then Tank was like, wait, you're on camera saying that I clearly won the fight. Uh -huh. And then Roly was like, well, I said that because I wanted this fight. Yeah, wanted this fight. Like, hey, that's hell of true though. I was like, that's oh, that's the way, good. That's yeah. the way to uh -huh. get a fight. I was yeah. like, I couldn't uh -huh. stop laughing when I heard uh -huh. that. I was like, he is a smart motherfucker. Uh huh. He's and smart. And he's quick. He's quick and witty. But sometimes, sometimes he he falls short. Like when he was like, oh, the koala with chlamydia, and Tank oh, was like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That part was funny. <laughs> that was funny. That part was funny. Yeah, uh, a lot of yeah. That that was funny. A lot of the parts that uh, Roly was saying, Tank was like, mm -hmm. "What?" Like his facial yeah. he did it for me. Yeah. It's and like, then and then, and then every time funny. he said, every time he said, "What?" Roly kept he threw something Roley else out there. <laughs> and so I was like, you and know, it was entertaining. Yeah, it was entertaining. It was, it was fun. I I have fun watching that that yeah. uh, mm -hmm. conference. Um, but what about the way and how how did you see him? Who who do you think who do you think gonna win? I don't think we said. Uh, we can start the way in. We can start the way in. Yeah. Uh, the way in. So the way in was very interesting. Um, Tank coming in at one thirty three and a half, or I think one three thirty three and a quarter. One thirty three. And uh, you know, with the lightweight limit being at one thirty five, man, it it just shows the type of shape and how the dedication that he was in this camp. And I got even more excited by seeing that because that you know before this he was kind of talking about like oh yeah you know after this I'm thinking about going down to one thirty. He's always had a lot of people talking about like, oh, you know, he he can't he make can't he can't get change. down there, he can't make the weight, and he proved that he can get down there because he got down to one thirty three and he was he didn't look drained, you know, he looked calm, you know what I mean? He looked good. Yeah. He didn't look drained at all. So I think it's there. I think he could if he wanted to. 
go down to 130. Uh-huh. I think a good. He, I think he can go either way. I think mm-hmm. he can go 130, 140. Yeah. Um, what do you think of Roly on in the weight? In the weight, Roly looks big. He does. Like his does. shoulders look mm-hmm. broad and just muscular. Like yeah, I'm yeah. like, how did he even make one? He came in yeah. at 134. Well, yeah. yeah, he is like, too. He is yeah, too. he's in really good shape as well. And credit to Larry Wade. Larry Wade is a strength and conditioning trainer. If you watch all of the fighters that he prepares, you know, he had a lot of uh, experience working with Sean Porter, who's always been in tip-top shape. Um, you know, he's with Roley. And he also, um, Jesus Ramos, who's on the card, um, he's his strength and conditioning. Oh. So, um, so, yeah, so credit to Larry Wade on that and Roley. You know, he came in great shape. Um, you said he looks big. I mean, I remember I him posting. Big. Yeah, I remember Roly posting like on social media, you know, like a year ago or something. He was like a swole Roly or big Roly, and he was like 180 pounds. And he showed on the scale. So for him to come all the way down to 135, that's probably why he looked big like that. And not even that, talking about how Tank came in at 130, uh, 133, um, I don't know if it was also kind of to prove a point, but I don't, I don't know the word that you call it where it's like, look at the odds or whatever because he said that he had lost his belt at the Barclays in the center. Oh, Barclays, Barclays yeah. You say? Um, On the scale, yeah. He had lost his uh, belt because he didn't make weight. Right. And what are the odds? He comes back to the same place where, you know, he won it and lost it. Yeah, right. And then he, you know, he came in great shape, like 133, you know? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. He's definitely ready. He's focused. You can tell that uh, he didn't cut no corners, it looks like. Yeah. All right. So so now that we got the way in, what, what do you think about the fight? What is your prediction for this fight? My prediction is going to be a draw. Oh. I'm just kidding. I was about I to don't say. think it's going to be a draw. I, was about to say, was <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a draw. I got to say first, Tank is my dog. I love, I love me some Tank. Yeah. I love to watch his fights. They're mm-hmm. so fun and exciting to watch. Mm-hmm. So my prediction, I think uh, Tank is definitely going to win. Um, I think it's going to be by knockout as well. Maybe not in the first round. Maybe after eighth round or so, mm-hmm. a knockout on Tank's side. Um, and I just think that just because I feel like obviously he's gonna have to end in a um, in a in a knockout because I think that Roly is gonna come to brawl. I think he's gonna try to box out because I think like a lot of people think that he's just a power puncher fighter, but I think that they're probably work trying to work on kind of showing off the skills a little Roley? bit more. Think yeah, Roley, okay. I think so. Um, because I think that, like I said, they, they're just talking about him being a power puncher fighter and all this, and I feel like they want to prove that he's got more to his fighting. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think he's going to try to show off a little skill first, but I think he might get a little frustrated that he can't get Tank. They just going to try to brawl. And I think he's going to let himself open, and Tank's going to find that good shot, uppercut shot, and I think that's what's going to do it. What are your thoughts? All right. I, all right. I'm not sure where I'm going to start with this, but I think it's going to be an action-packed fight for as long as it goes. Um, so with Roley being big, I see him, you know, with Roley being big, I am hoping that he's going to be in there and he'll be able to, you know, kind of withstand the power of Tank, okay. at least in the earlier rounds. I'm hoping, you know what I mean? But a lot of the things that Tank was saying, I agree with, you know, even before he said it, that's how I was kind of coming into the fight, you know, off top, skills pay the bills, I'm a firm oh, believer yes, of that, yes, 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 and yes. so um, I think that, you know, he said that he's going to show that his level, and I think it is too, I think in the beginning he is going to, um, you know, I think he's going to box a lot in the beginning, oh. I think Tank is going to box a lot in the beginning, and kind of, um, you know, take a little steam off of the, uh, steam off of um, Romero, I know Romero is going to come in hard, because, you know, the the longer the fight goes on, you know, that fav- that has to favor Tank, Tank I would feel. Um, now, with Roley, Roley throws a lot of wide punches, and Tank being so sharp, I see him, I see him, you know, throwing straight, landing straight punches in between that, that wild uh, left hook that he has. And also another thing is, Roley, when he throws his jab, he tends to lunge a lot. And, you know, fighting a southpaw and you're lunging like that with the jab, That's it's so right, true. it's right there for that uppercut. And he said... You know, oh yeah, everyone gets caught the uppercut because they're not smart fighters and they sit there. But I, but I'm saying if Roley is lunging in there like that, that is right there for Tank's uppercut. Yep. You know what I mean? And so I see I see Tank also frustrating Roley just by his footwork because mm-hmm. Tank's footwork is so good. It doesn't get enough credit. You know his his boxing IQ and ring IQ, and I see him turning Roley, turning Roley throughout the fight, and Roley having to look for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
And so and you probably yeah. forget that. And then I rewatched yeah. Chainsaw. I'm like, damn, that yeah. one is so good. Even defensively, yeah. defensively, yeah. offensively, Ring IQ yeah. is off the chain with him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I really I, I agree with you. I think he's gonna yeah. frustrate Roly. Um, and then that's true. I was watching Roly so rewatching some of his fights, and he uh -huh. lunges when he, he lunges. like punches. Uh -huh. Like. Uh, you definitely gonna yeah, get you lunge, it, Yeah, you lunge our tank, you can get capitalized but on But I hope we watch a good, good, good fight. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see what Roley's gonna do after the mm -hmm. first round if he doesn't knock, well, when mm -hmm. he doesn't knock tank, let me say that, when he don't knock tank out on the first round. I'm excited to see, you know, like, okay, where's your first round knockout? Oh, uh, yeah, I, see I, yeah, yeah I don't see that happening. And then another thing that I think about this fight is that I think it's gonna be... You know, I I kind of wanted I kind of don't want to say this, but I think it's gonna look a lot like uh, Mayweather um, versus Gotti, mm. uh, where it was one sided, um, and it was just oh, yeah. and they had to and it wasn't a KO, it was a it was a stoppage just because I see him landing a lot a lot of shots and even even Tank when he said he wants to punish him, yeah. he said he doesn't want to you know get a knockout. He pretty much said that he didn't want like a Leo Santa Cruz. He wanted to punish him so the trainer would feel it too. And so I am thinking it's going to be like a Mayweather Gotti where it's going to be just a, a, a master class performance. We're going to see his skills. He's going to be pivoting. He's going to be landing shots. And when Roley goes to throw a shot, Tank isn't going to be there. And it's just, I, I just can't wait to see it for that reason alone. It's going to be a showcase for Tank, I think. Yeah. yeah. I don't see the corner stopping the fight. Maybe the referee needed to stop uh -huh. the fight. But I definitely don't think Roley's trainer. He don't want to. We know that. the fight. He's not gonna throw the time. We know that, you know, we don't want Rolly it. Rolly can be getting it in the ring and he's just gonna uh, be like, you gotta tap it out, bro. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna throw the time. Yeah, we know his trainer definitely don't want to. And, but if but if he does, that just shows how great Tank yeah. really is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh he but but like you said, you know, like we kind of touched on, Rolly is Rolly is big, he's strong, he's tough. We never seen him hurt. We never seen um we never seen him uh, a drop. So if Tank does comes in and does that, man, what a he's, performance. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I'd be excited to see you know what kind of power uh, Roly can land on Tank too. If he does any, if he hurts Tank, hey, it's gonna be a good fight. I'm excited. And also, I also want to uh, give credit to Roly also because you know he's been calling for this fight a long time, and a lot of people call for these fights, but they don't really want them. And you know, he stepped into the ring. You know what I mean? And for me, the, how I look at it for Roly, I feel like this is a win-win for him. Whether he yeah. wins or loses, you know, he's gonna come out a winner. He's gonna be show. He's already been showcased in front of millions of fans and millions of fans is watching like oh this guy is funny we got people texting us yeah. like hey this guy is he's, funny who is this guy he's a character he's hilarious uh -huh. so so i think it you know it's a win-win for him win or lose so i just can't wait to see the fight you know as of now so me too and you guys will see a next video coming and talking about the win um by knockout i'm i'm predicting that okay okay and thanks for tuning in you guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe or talk yo shit. And we out.